Greetings Facebook, it's Monday, uh, obviously in the process of putting up the new turbine but I just wanted to give people a close up look of this thing, which was the old wind turbine. Uh, I don't know why I had to hack these corners off, there must have been some issue, I can't remember now, I think there was some issue with the blade hub bolts actually catching on there, so that's why that looks like that. Take, you'll note it's made out of solid uh, bar, which I didn't use this time, but that worked well, that's 15 mil. These plates were the uh, scrap plates I had lying around, there's four of those. Uh, ended up having to do quite a bit of fanning around to make some of the holes bigger for some reason. But yeah, this had three bearings, one here, one here, one here. These are the bolts that are used to adjust the motor. And this has three slots in it because I had made a coil winding machine before. And that's actually where these plates came from. All you need to hold the motor is one slit down the middle, which you can see there. I'll show you the motor in a second so you know exactly how that goes on. Uh, so yeah, obviously it needs a plate front and back to hold the motor, that's the beauty of it. The motor's held in super solid. These two bolts at the back. Oh, sit down. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so these set of bolts at the back and this set of bolts at the front, you can uh, adjust the angle of the motor, etc. Uh, these, this is the shenanigans where you can raise and lower the angle of the turbine. You can see the angle there is quite high and I've set the angle on the other one a lot lower. I don't, I don't know how it's going to work out yet, but we'll soon find out. Uh, here you can see the swivel mechanism that I stole off a Chinese wind turbine. So it's from the bottom here all the way to up here where it's welded on. You can actually see a couple of bits of the motor still on there. This, this round thing, something was welded on there. Uh, this has worked very well, which is just some heavy duty uh, angle, which I just welded on here and then on there just to take the excess weight. Uh, these are hinges you can see here, old school hinges. They need replacing. I don't know how well you can see that. They need replacing those hinges because they're just uh, stock. They weren't even heavy duty ones. So they allow it to, uh, the angle to be changed. And then these bolts, M10 bolts, which are welded on, uh, go through here and meet with a plate, which is obviously welded to here. This is all made out of scrap. Apart from that, everything else was scrap. Uh, that's a bit of a bodge, the ta where the tail goes in. You can see a bit of, it's on a bit of a lean, but it did the job pretty well. Uh, I'll just show you the motor thingy. So there's obviously the motor from above. You can see how the frames work. They're very simple, but quite effective. Let's see if I can take one of them off. So this would be the front one. So this simply, whoops, this goes on there like so. And when you line it up like that, and I had a bolt on the outside just there. And then that, the other one of these goes on there and then you adjust the motor up and down and the chain comes down through here. But yeah, the new one ended up a lot heavier, but I do think it's a lot more solid, even though I made this one out of a 15 mil uh, bar, whatever it's called. That was a bit of a bodge, uh, something else to hold the tail on, a bolt goes through there. Uh, and that's about it, I think. I'm gonna make a separate video talking about uh, the gears because it'll be the only time I'll have all these gears sat here. So I'm going to do some drawings and upload a video about these later on. That's the 26, that's the 28, that's the 37. I've just got an 18 somewhere, right? And there's the 18, so I'll be getting on them with a the video today, just doing some drawings, explaining the gear ratios and the uh, positives and negatives of each. You know, that that's the, that's the highest one there, the 37 to the 18, so that's over two. But yeah, we'll get on that in the next video, and obviously I'm cracking on with uh, getting the turbine up. My kids coming around later. We have to try and get the blades balanced today because there's no wind. So even if I don't get it rolling in the sky, the blades need to go on and get balanced. While there's, you can see there's there's virtually no wind today, and it's very hard to do when the wind's thrashing about outside. So, right, catch you later, bye.